Hi, Mike here again with another video about using styles in Microsoft Word. Today I'm going to start a series on how to use styles with lists in Word, uh, a rich topic. And for this first video, I'm going to talk about the style behavior for what I think of as automatic lists, which are the lists that you get if you use the buttons in the toolbar for creating a bulleted list or creating a numbered list. The basic premise of what I'm going to tell you is that when you create these automatic lists, you use a single style where it applies a style that has limited capabilities for allowing you to change the formatting. So let's have a look. Okay, here I have another one of my um, fake documents that I like to use. Um, here's some paragraphs that I want to turn into a style. So I will use the toolbar button, this uh, bulleted list button, and I will create bulleted items. Um, this is a very powerful feature that I'm sure we've all used many times. As you know, um, you can select items in the list and press tab to move them in um, another indentation level. And there are different bullets and different indentation levels for different levels of the list. Very powerful and very nice. You know, you can shift tab to move stuff out, etc. Now in this document, I have uh, the normal paragraphs are styled normal. And notice here that when I go into the list, the style that's been applied automatically by Word is a style called list paragraph. It is a paragraph style. And I can make certain changes to this style to customize how these lists look. So for example, let's say I modify the list uh, and I'll change a couple of things. I'll change the color. I'll make it red for visibility as I like to do. I will change the font size. Instead of 11 point, I'll make it 9 point. And I'll make a change to the paragraph formatting. I will change the um, line spacing from single to one and a half, let's, let's say. All right, so I've made a series of changes, some to the font, some to the paragraph, for the style called list paragraph. Um, and I will save those. And as soon as I save them, you can see that the style uh, the changes are applied to all the items that have the list paragraph style. So that's six items in this bulleted list. And in fact, if I now go and create a numbered list uh, using the same toolbar button, it also applies, where it also applies list paragraph to that list with the same characteristics with color font size and line indentation. But perhaps you can see already one of the kind of limitations of this particular system. Um, the bulleted list and the numbered list look the same. They have the same style characteristics. And it's probably not hard for you to imagine a situation in which you want a particular bulleted list and a particular numbered list to look different. Well, if you use this automatic feature of Word, uh, it simply applies a single style to List par applies the single list paragraph style to all the list items. So you have a limited capabilities there. Let's uh, talk about some of the things you can't do for this style. Uh, imagine that I want to make my first level items flush left instead of being indented the way they are. I'll go to the list paragraph style. I will modify it as I did last time. And I'll go to the paragraph uh, settings and I'll change the indentation from 0.5 to 0. So in theory this now makes it flush left and indeed that's what the preview looks like it's going to do. But when I save that change nothing actually happens. Um, I did make the change to the paragraph style. If I go back in and modify it again that change is still there. But the way that Word applies these uh, applies formatting to these automatic lists is that it overrides that in effect. A similar change that I, or another change I might want to make is I might want to change the numbering style. So right now I'm using uh, Roman, uh, sorry, I'm using Arabic numbers, but let's say I want to use different numbering system, maybe Roman numbers. I'll come in here to the list paragraph style. I'll modify it and this time I'll choose numbering and I'll say, mm, let's make that Roman numerals instead of Arabic. And it looks like it's doing that in a preview pane, but again, nothing changes, right? In fact, it even shows that. Look, it's showing you a Roman numeral over here in the preview in the styles pane, but nope, uh, it's not gonna do that. Now you can make this change if you wanted to ch have a different style of numbers. You could do it up here um, by choosing one of these other 
numbering the library options. But that's the, in effect, applying direct formatting to an individual list. It's not changing the style definition. It's not modifying the style definition. It's just applying direct formatting. Maybe that works for you in your particular situation, but if we're being purists about style, that's not really doing the trick. For example, that won't translate to another document. You can't make that a global change. It applies to all documents made with this template. So that's not really recommended as a way to make those changes. So to reiterate, if you create these automatic lists using the buttons up here in the tool, toolbar, uh, Word applies a single style called list paragraph to all the items in all of the lists that you make that way. You can make some changes, uh, as you saw, font, uh, font size, color, uh, line spacing, but some of the changes that you might want to make, like indentation or changing the style of the bullets or of the numbers, no can do, um, where it overrides those. Uh, another thing, I guess, I haven't really pointed it out, but you can't have different looks for different levels of the list. So the first level list and the second level list, except for the fact that they're indented different, um, they have the same font, size, line, um, line spacing, and so forth. So um, it's a powerful feature. I love automatic lists. I use them all the time. But to reiterate, I'll leave you with this um, kind of summary of what you can and can't do with automatic lists. In the next video, I will show you one way to create different styles for different individual lists in your document. Thanks.